As the final events of Bible prophecies are rapidly being fulfilled, the call coming from God to His people as such a crisis as this is to come up higher. Come up higher as God called Moses to Mount Sinai. Come up higher as Elijah called the people of God to come up on Mount Carmel. Come up higher because our redemption draweth nigh. Come up higher because we have a high calling in Jesus Christ. Come and let us learn how to run this race together as we listen to this daily devotional. Our High Calling, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. Which Captain? For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Psalm 48 verse 14. We are all under one or the other of two great captains. One, the creator of men and of the world, is the greatest of all. All owe him the allegiance of their whole being, the devotion of their entire affection. If the mind is given to his control, and if God has the molding and developing of the powers of the mind, new moral power will be received daily from the source of all wisdom and all strength. Moral blessings and divine beauties will reward the efforts of everyone whose mind is heaven-bent. We may grasp revelations, heavenly beauties that lie beyond the short vision of the worldly, that outshine the imagination of the greatest mind. Satan is the leader of the worldly. His highest aim is to gather under his banner the majority of the world that numbers may stand against the power of righteousness and eternal truth. Talent and ability given of God to be devoted to His service are laid at the feet of the great rebel of God's government. While the worldly wise is skimming along the surface, grasping the things of sight and sense, the one who fears and reveres God is reaching into eternity, penetrating the deepest recess and gathering the knowledge and riches that are as enduring as eternity. Justice, honor, love and truth are the attributes of God's throne. They are the principles of His government. These are jewels to be sought after and cherished for time and for eternity. To walk the world a pure man of untarnished morals, bearing the sacred principles of truth in your heart, its influence seen in the acts of your life. To live uncorrupted by the baseness, falsity and dishonesty of a world which must soon be purified of its moral corruption by the fires of God's retributive justice is to be a man whose record is immoralized in heaven, honored among the pure angels who wait and appreciate moral worth. This is what is to be a man of God.